We're still looking at arithmetic progressions, arithmetic series, um, but we're going to apply them to some more concrete problems. Okay? So um, waiting for all eyes up. I can see most pens are down, which is great. All right. So when we've been having a look at these problems, right? We've just started kind of with like two, five, eight random numbers. They could mean anything. But what we want to do is say, what do they look like in a particular context? And then can we interpret the question appropriately and then use the formulas and things we've developed to solve the problem? Okay, so have a look at 11C with me. Let's read it together. But slowly, there's a lot to unpack. A truck spends the day depositing truckloads of gravel from a quarry at equally spaced intervals along a straight road. Pause. Think about what that means. Okay? Let's put the quarry somewhere on our page. Let's call that Q for quarry. Okay? And then what happens is this truck, it drives along this straight road, deposits some stone or gravel or whatever. Was it gravel? It's gravel, right? It's gravel, thank you. Deposits the gravel and then comes back to the quarry to get more. Then it returns to the next spot along the road, deposits gravel, and then comes back. And it does this over and over again. And that's what we're trying to understand here, OK? This is the same one we've been in this exercise, right? So it's just question 11C, OK? All right, so just really quickly, right? This is the picture in my head. And maybe this is actually worth picking your pen up now for to just get a sense for the visual, right? It goes somewhere, and then he drops his gravel and comes back, right? Then he goes again, drops the gravel, and then he comes back. And he repeats this process over and over. OK, you, you got the picture in your head? OK, good. Now, shh. It says, the first load is deposited 20 kilometers from the quarry. So we have a distance. The first load is deposited 20 kilometers from the quarry. The last load is 10 kilometers further along. First one's 20 kilometers away. Last one's 10 further along than that. Right, so if the truck travels, and then they give you a total. So after it's gone up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, etc., right? It travels 550 kilometers in total. It then asks these two questions, and they're closely related. How many trips does it make? How far apart are the deposits? OK, first question. How is it that this produces an arithmetic progression? Why is there an arithmetic progression that flows out of this situation? Because of the progression. The ult ultimately, the final distance of each destination has like a common difference. And yep, yep. OK, so remember we're saying there's a constant difference. And I think the word we tend to use is common, right? So it's like this distance here is in common with this distance here, and it just keeps going along so that the gravel piles end up equally spaced. That's what it says right at the start of the question. Okay? Now, what's tricky about this is we don't know how many different like, spots it stops at, right? and we don't know how far apart those are. So it seems like, do we know enough information to work this out? I want you to look back at the second sentence in the question. Read it again with me. It says, the first load is deposited 20 kilometers from the quarry. The last is 10 kilometers further along the road. So being that we've got these two different forms for describing the sum of an arithmetic sequence. Let me just, whoops, that's a two. OK, let's have a look, right? Which of these, read the second sentence again. Which of these do you think would be more helpful? First or the second? For determining now, what we're trying to do is, is work out what's going on in this situation. How many tra travels? How many number of trips? Do we know how many trips? That's the question. How many trips? I have no clue, right? How many times it stop? So I want you to look again and tell me what A and L stand for. The first and the last. Have a look at the question. It even says the first load is, and then it says, the last is. So that's kind of what clues you in that this is the form that's going to be more useful to me. Okay? Right, okay, so I also have a total distance. So let's go ahead, let's use this guy, right? I've got a total distance. It's 550, that's a messy five kilometers. What's that equal to? Now, I don't know what n is. That's kind of the problem, right? Okay? I don't know what n is. n is what I'm trying to solve, so I'm not going to substitute anything for that. But then what I have to do 
is work out what A and L are. Now look carefully. They give us some distances, but they're not quite the distances we need. Look carefully. The first load is deposited 20 kilometers from the quarry. So here it is, 20 kilometers away. So what does one journey actually look like? You've got to get to the 20, but, but then you've got to go back, right? Every, do you see? That's why I drew it out. Every journey, so that's why, as Shalina said, it's going to be 40 because you've got to go there and then come back to the quarry. Is that all right? So there's my first term. Then I need a last term. Now the last one, my scale is terrible here, but the last journey is 10 kilometers further over, right? So how far is it from the quarry? 60. It's 20. Uh, you're, you're going one step ahead. It's 10 kilometers further, so it's 30 kilometers away, which means I've got to go 30 there, 30 back. That gives me my total, which is 60. Does that make sense? You with me so far? Now this is really good because now I can actually sort out what n is, right? What shall I do? Yeah, very good. N over 2 times 100, what's the on 2 going to give me? 5.5. Okay, hold on a second. So you're dividing across, but I'd like to do this first. I think it'll be easier for me. 100 divided by 2, it's 50. Okay. So now N is just going to be, divide both sides by? 550 divided by 50. Okay. So, look quickly at the question. Have we answered it yet? How many trips does it make? That's the answer, okay. But then the next question is, how far apart are the deposits? I'm going to hit pause and let you have a think about that while you try and work it out.